it's really hard to deal with price volatility because it is a function of the market. No. Uh, you know, when you look at the issue of price volatility, you will be hearing issues that the problem arose because of a convergence of bad policies and bad reactions on the part of governments. You know, in hindsight, all these are correct. But you have to remember that at a particular point in the development of uh, a country, a decision maker is always faced with very hard choices. When prices spike, he will have to make a very firm decision on what to do. Will he buy uh, commodities, meaning will he buy rice for his people? Will he impose export restrictions for his people? He is confronted with this, and it's, it's a very, very hard choice. Now, the problem there is that he does not have all this information at his hands. You know, he couldn't make an informed judgment, I would say. If he had this, then perhaps all these accusations of bad policy decisions can be abolished or can be removed, you know. Well, I think it will still take quite some time to get a certain degree of uh, comfort level at the engagement of African regional organizations. That is because, one, I feel that uh, there is a need to improve and build on their capacities. I think the most important thing is that within their own regions, African organizations should be more inclusive and should be more transparent. In other words, what I'm saying is that for them to decide on their destiny, I think they should start engaging actively with other stakeholders within their country and within the regions, as well as engage with their other development partners. At the moment, there is really no policy on land grabbing by the CFS at the moment, as of today. The good thing is that, as of today, we have launched in Rome the zero draft of the voluntary guidelines on land tenure. Important thing of which is governance again. Uh, member countries themselves can only reply as to how they can react to land grabbing. But for the Committee on World Food Security, the more important thing is that, one, there has to be a good governance at national level because good governance is the only assurance that investments are positive, that investments are sustainable. Without governance, I think, economic and agricultural development will be unsustainable. People will always be taken advantage of, and therefore if people are taken advantage of, there will always be stresses, there will always be conflicts. And without peace in the area, you cannot attract investments. So it is, it is a vicious cycle. And if, if, if you want to cut that vicious cycle, you have to start with governance somewhere. Thank <laughs> you.